you know, they built their way back in. It was so close. There was only a few rounds in it where they had the potential to not even be in this position. It could have been Furia waiting in the wings instead. But here we have it. Nouns taking to the stage, going against Legacy. Final map with it all to play for. Elimination on the line. One of these teams by the end of this map will definitely not be attending the first major in CS2. And it's Nouns on the T side as well. A smoke, a flash, utility prevalent, but also for Legacy. No kits on display, but the dual Berettas of Dumao and Cold Zera. The dual Berettas that shut Nouns down outside of B on overpass. In the perfect position to wield them as well. Four T's about to walk into the crosshair of Cole, and he finds the first quick trade buttons there, though. Ascends the stairs and sends George into a deep descent. Nekes trying to find one as CJ jumps out. A lot of damage done, but no kill. Barton, though, is so sharp right now. Carson trying to swarm him through when Barton is doing everything himself. CJ hits the shot. That's me enough to allow the bomb to go through a, a valuable commodity. But an incredibly difficult clutch to Mao with the second set of dualies deals with him. Yeah, unfortunate there for CJ. Tried his best, does get the bomb down despite the low HP. Navigated that apartment setup. And Bartan, you feel like he's going to close it, but no. Noun's at least given the bomb plant. But yet again, it's another pistol given to Legacy. Something that they can build upon. And Noun's now faced with another decision. Do we throw it all in? Do we invest everything and make the game scrappy? Or do we want to prioritize our utility on a map so fundamentally dependent on it as Inferno? Feels like the force will certainly come through, right? It comes down to a one and two. You know, if you can win the force by back, it'll completely reset the CT economy. Indeed, Nouns will invest into this. We have three rifles out, which isn't really that bad. They want to get aggressive. So too do Legacy. Take a look at Top Banana. Two players flashed through, commanding the spaces doom out. As George trades places in towards the apartments, Nouns, a quick hit over towards top brackets would be great, but they're smoked off at the entrance. Carson may be getting sent up to pop through. Barton's hearing that utility being deployed. Double set up. Famas of Cold Zero. All of the T side are here. Despite the presence in Banana, they've not rotated this fourth player over just yet. You know, we'll go back to maybe try and sell a retake over this side. The Molotov is going to maybe keep some interest. George starts to accelerate. Zero getting contact. She needs to move forward. Moto smoke coming on through, but there's three players here. Two towards both pits. George swinging on through though and knocks Barton down. Cold Zero can't fight back. And it's neck is in the side. The only defender, good for one, but then done. And that's round over, surely. You can see Lato Dumao already scampering away to the safe refuge of the B bomb site. Really well done from Nouns. They felt no pressure whatsoever. Seems there, simple, didn't it? There was early grenades being put down by Legacy. But then it felt like they went timid. They were playing to survive. They did not want to make a mistake that put Nouns back in the driver's seat. They did not want to give over a weapon to the hands of these pistols. But ultimately, by playing so passive, you gave Nouns a lot of space to work with. And when they executed, they did it, as we saw on Vertigo, with one direction in mind, a smoke towards the middle of the site, a smoke towards Moto, creating a tunnel and isolating these players on pit that could not do a thing. Now force back and force the issue onto Legacy. Yeah, the crazy thing is there's three players from Legacy set up there to defend. No one's isolated by the smokes, but the flashbang forward is fantastic. First kill comes through onto Mini Pit and then Cole just gets deleted on his thing. And one thing I want to just add is we're already seeing Nouns 
playing a, a lot better when it comes to the executes on this T side. And what I mean by that is a number of rounds against Furia, it was contact heavy. It wasn't led with utility. They weren't even flashing themselves in towards top brackets at times. It just felt like a 3-2-1. We're all swinging together and they got shut down. They've learned their lessons immediately. Every peak, every piece of utility is used with purpose. And here is used to scale. Send that MAC-10 forward, gather the space. Top banana belongs to the T side. Look at the rotation. Really pieces off. Four over towards A now. Nouns are going to send through some execute utility. Smoke over towards Coffins. CT1 absent. Jamal's going to drop forward. Defensive smoke. They're waiting for that before they send any further barrage. But it's all a bit of a ruse. This might come back to cost them. Legacy have gone for the right read on this stack and Latter elevated on towards Quad. This could be a devastating position. The flames go below. He's above and has an open angle to fight, but he can't convert his spray. CJ and George demolish the defense and George is not done yet, charging out towards Long. Smoke lands on through. Everyone is here on the A side. Jamal is waiting for the moment to come on through. Barton has hit two incredible digs. And suddenly it starts to fall apart. Carson looking for anything. Blindsided by Cold Zero in the pit and Junior can't even escape. And that's Legacy punishing Nouns as they fall on their sword. Think about how that just works. Two initial entries. There was one player that was elevated. There was one player out towards Long. Nouns anticipate there's only one more that's fled. The audio gives up the ghost. The Lexi were playing close, but it's Bartan on the site playing these headshot angles and he's surgical when removing the nouns as they execute in towards this bomb site. Second time's not quite the charm for nouns as Legacy bite back. What a round from the Deagles. And what a call from Legacy to stack over towards A as well. Nouns aren't going to make it easier though. Still managed to get out four rifles. Plenty of potency into this round. I guess gets a whiff, drops the incendiary. We're going for an apps pop button on the position. Cold Zero falling into the pit. He's a chair. Needs to clear the angles. They just line up for Bartel. It's all too simple for him. And Cold Zero just gets baited in absolutely perfectly. Junior, last man standing in the previous, last man standing in the present. Bomb. Completely isolated from his grasp, surrounded by enemies. That is even flashing doom out through long. This one feels improbable. 50 seconds left. AK, the only solitude for Junior as he tries to clear every single nook and cranny on the bomb site. But it's such a difficult task. First objective, Lato clears him, but doesn't secure the kill. Legacy find a third, finally breaking that economy. Feels like Legacy in, in each of these rounds had the perfect read with their CT setup, right? We saw it the round, all the last three rounds, right? There was the stack on towards A uh, when they had the pistols, they had the boost up, they got eliminated. It was the right read though. And then this round, they have Barton on towards balcony. It's the perfect counter to that play out through the apartments. Good to see that one back there. Focus on the mini pit and he's more than happy to take liberties. That's nice from Cold as well, just because normally it's the balcony player that's trying to set up the, the pit player as the bait. Instead, it's Cold Zero who is still peeking towards short, trying to expose as less of himself as possible. But ultimately, he's still that big target. He's put it on top of his head. And now he's become tunnel visioned. Bartan has had an exceptional series. Didn't really see too much of him on Vertigo, but overpass, he was present. And Inferno, it feels like he's everywhere in the right place at the right time. And for Legacy, it's these strong starts, it's these quick starts that have been rolling nouns over. Fourth almost feels like a certainty unless the pistols can create some sparks, some magic. We know nouns CT side is very strong. That's something where certain of by how well they were able to claw their way back into that game versus Furia. So I wouldn't lose any faith yet. I know a lot of North Americans have put a lot of faith into Nouns as kind of one of these disruptor teams. Personally, I'm very 
pronouns in the bio and all. <laughs> so hoping to see a good display from them here. We're seeing a lot of utility early, which is a little costly. Because you don't have a massive bank built up. They just want to make sure that every single piece of utility, if it can be drained out of the pockets, then it should be. Because these rounds have gone back and forth, because they've been quite close. Now it's announced that reset bottom banana, they're hoping, but this setup feels incredibly dangerous. Doom out can hear the footsteps, sure, gets overwhelmed, but Lato's angle feels like it should be superior, but the jump gives it away. At least Nekis can step in towards top middle. Nouns are confined to the B bomb site. He does smoke, so they can't. Okay, they can cross. They can just run on through ladder. Okay, does deal with them. Bomb is lost anyway. So it's just the one that falls. Doesn't get too costly. Bomb plant would have been nice, but it's not going to hurt too badly for nouns. It was Nouns that had the journey through the, the last RMR in Paris where they went 0-1 down, then they won the next two best of threes. They took a map off Liquid. It was a grueling best of three, and ultimately they fell a little bit short in the closed qualifiers at the RMRs to make it here in Monterey. It was a 3-2 fashion. It was running it close against Liquid again. They'd love the opportunity to finally strike and to finally redeem some of that faith and belief instilled in them by the community. But this one not working out as expected. Good find by Carson ahead of all of the mollies. But it's the nade that ultimately will finish him off. Lato screams for support and he'll get it in the form of Nekis. Utility comes through at the right time. Nouns pause a little bit on their attack. It's given Lato time to call in that reinforcement. Nekis starts to scale in too and Lato crosses. Nekis finds the kill. And now you're not going to be ready for this reposition. He snuck all the way around. Between him and Nekes, they have slowed this down completely. Despite the fantastic opener from Carson, it sadly amounts to nothing. That's a shame. That, that's a real shame in this round, especially for Nouns, because what happens there is Carson gets the opening kill. They then want to go and inject the same level of pace that they did on their T-sides on Vertigo. They just wanted to execute immediately, but they weren't in the right positions. Carson was a little bit too spread out, but there also that Molotov that he was ahead of just completely pinned Nouns back. There was also a missed piece of utility that allowed Nekis to swap without his toes being singed, right, and the audio being given over. And without these bomb plants, it's a constant yo-yo of one AK buy, one Tech-9, and now you're just being thrown straight into the gauntlet. They're ready, waiting at the door, and they're slamming it shut in your face. That is a fast round of CS2 from Legacy. Yeah, Lado gets up to 10 kills with that little quad. Two rounds now that Nouns have started to move over to B. I was wondering, you know, when they were going to start to test that side of the map, because it has been very A-heavy yep. early on. And honestly, that gun round could have actually found success. This one was always going to be a long shot. The Tech-9 rush B. Not quite able to get it done thanks to the util and nothing to disrupt the spray. Lexi have been varying a lot about how they play Banana. Normally with the two players, they play quite passive and it could be punishable with Nows dropping grenades behind the early utility that's put down by Legacy. However, they've been really keen and show Nows, hey, we're going to push this at any opportunity. Blanket of flames, go over Banana, flashbang in towards Boiler. Marky can't profit. Not quite able to swing quick enough to find the kill, but the Molotov does plenty of damage. Buttons not feeling comfortable, and that HG was beautiful. What a combination. Button doesn't get to see an opponent, and Marky finds another. Force forward, and oh, it doesn't matter. Marky is on one. The A bomb site is his. Lado might be able to catch timing onto CJ, and he does so. Dumal has rotated over. Bombside is thoroughly secured. This is weirdly still on. If Legacy wants to give this a go, they've got smokes, they've got flashes, and you know that George and Mark, he, Marky are incredibly low, but they're going to back off. Like, the damage is a little bit unconfirmed. They're still hanging around. They want to play for exits. Any damage on towards this economy is really good for now, so they can just keep them in this bomb site. If two low players can fall as well, it's really useful. 
but a really good take. It's clear that Nels want to exploit Legacy's control over towards short. Here is Lato. And he will find two. Deny the AWP at the very least. Or maybe not. Oh, oh, unlucky. They can't afford a new one either. I honestly thought he had it. That's that's so unfortunate. So, well, great job from Lato to uh, actually do all that damage, right? Equates to three kills, his presence at the end. So very, very costly. Margie, picking of three kills. The first one was really cool, the way he used the utility, and then he just doesn't stop. There needs to be someone here for Nouns. They need to really step up, be that voice. Grab the game by the scruff of the neck. We saw it on Vertigo. It was Marky. And now he's trying to be the driving force for his team. Here is that utility. A boost over the top. Neck is. Doesn't get punished by Carson. And the molly didn't spread towards the back. So Dumel is there the entire time. Shut out from Banana once more. Now have to reset back into the solace of apartments. Yeah, Legacy have been prioritizing these last few rounds. Having three start there. I think after Carson find that, found that opening pick, they're feeling like maybe they want to start a few more players over there. Net success, Cold actually holding a slither angle. It's a little bit less exposed, but certainly good for one. Bartan's positioning as well is just so close. Like, it feels like even if you knock Cold off this angle, you're going to have to move your crosshair back and forth so dynamically to try and overwhelm this crossfire. And then you've got the player at long that can also support with flashbangs. Marky trying to hit this timing. Cold Zero currently looking at Shaw. Oh, he is going to find the timing. Button is holding it. Okay, so there is there is something, but no. That's so free for Marky. It's just as Button went to throw a flash as well. Falls off the line and it's exploited. Nekas has rotated in, but he's getting blinded. Button need to step up, couldn't get it done. Nekas runs out of bullets. Now Georgie is on one HP. Picks up the AWP from Cold's body. Still warm on the ground. And you know this retake's coming on through. George is a known entity to be low, surely. That is going to flank around, but that AWP holding the angle is going to be difficult to dislodge. Has to swing it. No, just going to be walking up through the apartment. So flanking on in. Time. Oh, he's being loud. Oh, the Molotov. That's going to kill George. Doesn't even really get the fire. Lato's bullets, in fact, get it done. But Junior can still clutch it up. Tucked in towards the back of the site. Lato swings and sadly denied. Yeah, that's unfortunate there for Nouns again in the two versus two, but it's the experience of Legacy that is getting them through. They're not going to go towards long. They know that there was an AWP. The only angle he could really be holding is over towards short. And you know that George was low. That's confirmed information. You reset both of your players. You put one up over towards apartments. You go through together. You've got different angles of elevation for that retake. Great attempt from now, so considering True. what this was a three on five. They find clean entries in thanks to Marky catching off Cold Zero. And the post plant felt like it should have been good enough, but unfortunately, the fact that George is on one HP just makes it so much more difficult. But what was good though is that he was being proactive. It wasn't like he was sitting back holding an angle that was really passive, waiting for Legacy to walk in. Because he can't do that, because then he'll just be blown away by the utility. He wouldn't have any information to give over towards Junior in the first place. By him peeking actively in towards Short, he can at least say, Junior, one killed me in apartments, one was over towards Short. It's a case of just being so close for Nouns, but not being able to convert the round. How many times have they been able to breach the bomb site? Just about sticking the land in. It's only which Legacy have been able to flip in their favor more often than not. Aggressive on both sides. Cold peak sound doesn't spot anything, but Barton is walking on through. Marky's so aware. So aware. Barton tries to peek around the angle, but he was a known entity and he's dealt with. I like the idea though from Legacy because you're you're peeking in both angles, you're being aggressive. That's something we've not yet seen out of this CT side, being proactive to try and find the opening kill. It feels demoralizing if he gets shut down in that manner. Cold Zero left completely alone here on A. Will pass the first test in Carson, drops the incendiary and falls back. And now we've got this fight in towards top middle. Legacy want info. And Marky might just punish them in the back. Yeah, he's going to walk out through apartments and he's going to catch a perfect timing. But Lado finds George. And a second as well. Neck is supporting with the flashbang and the bullets. Marky's lurk felt like it was perfect. CJ swung on from two elevated angles. 
and Legacy are doing what Furia did before them and running over Nouns in this CT side. It was just that moment of hesitation from Marky. You can see the plan formulated in every single one of these players' heads on this he side. He walks through the apartments, he hits that timing. As soon as the contact is taken by that short player, Marky should be swinging. Marky should be trading at the very least to allow the space for Nouns to progress. Instead, he waits, he looks back at Long, he then goes to look back at Short, and by that point, Neck is, he's already in. And Marky's flank is all undone, it's made redundant. Look at this, another variation. It's the nades that go in towards the middle of Banana. It's the apartment setup. Cold Zero is being so dynamic, and Carson, he's trapped. Mal locks him in. Trade is great, though, but Lido supports from the top of Banana. As to fall off, Nekas is called over to support because he's so low. Legacy, how long can they hold this apartment set up? At some point, perhaps when that smoke timing in mid comes through, that's when they're going to dismantle it. Or you let Bartan just engage. Let him search. Also, audio been heard potentially. That nade just sounds off at the bottom of George's feet. Bartan clearing the bedroom, doesn't see anything. Boost up for Lato, the smoke doesn't go onto his position. Not the meta smoke that covers everything, so he's given a fine line to fight onto Marky. And swings on through, he's not done. Lato absolutely destroys Nouns. It's just, it's just Legacy and Flow State. It's the amount of variation they are bringing to this CT side. Nouns aren't able to comprehend it. And that means you can get away with being a little bit disrespectful and push straight through the smoke. Why can he do that? Well, firstly, Nouns aren't expecting it. Secondly, there are people already rotating through. You've got Bartan that can come for a quick flank. They're being bulldozed here. And Lazo is leading the charge 21 for three. Run round 12. It's almost two kills per round. Cold Zero finally finds the opener that he's been looking for with that orb, but it feels like every single round. And Doom are getting aggressive again. There's no resistance. There's no outlet right now for Nouns. It always came through short, and that's where they want to take again. The double apartment setup feels incredibly tricky. And there's still a possibility for Legacy to send players on that flank through Doom Mao. Instead, it's an over-rotate. It's a gamble to the correct site. Legacy have got everything, and Nouns are just pinched in. Forced into the stack, Carson's going to walk straight into Ladder, who is everywhere right now. The bane of Nouns. But the hero of Legacy. Nouns take a pause. Ladder. It's a peek around, doesn't see anything, so they are going to rotate. Oh, this is just so rough to watch. Legacy are playing this so perfectly. Nouns are forced to just go back and do the fundamentals, but take a look at this. Marky has taken a liberty. He's pushed towards long. He hears that rotation. And now if they crunch on towards this A bomb site, it's still going to be tricky. You've got Cold Zero in pit. You've got a player boost up on the balcony. Cold Zero will just hold down the line. At least Bartan has fallen in terms of Nouns. And now for Cold Zero, he needs to hold on. 18 seconds left. He's feeling trapped. He's feeling isolated. But Lato provides some temporary oh. respite. Junior jumping, trying to get his team back into the fight, but he can't do it. It's Legacy with 10. It's deja vu on the server. Another South American team putting up the defense, putting up the resistance against Nouns. And yet it falls back into another comeback. Nouns have got to do it again, but they've got to do it against a legacy team. What they couldn't do against Furia. Let's mount this comeback and win. And it feels like such a difficult task. Any mistake now could be your plane ticket home. Your major dreams ended. That's an insane right. shot from Junior. Jumping, jumping single from Junior onto Cold. They need this pistol, and that's not been the story so far. It's been legacy. Every pistol round, it feels. I think it actually has been it every has been. pistol round. Every. All five. Every single one. And if your legacy, you just say, Lato, where do you want to go? Which way do you want to show face? Whoa, aggression. This is fun. Down towards mid. It's been heard. Oh, Marky spotted, dealt 
with, and the flashbang cold sets them up. And he might have just done the killing blow, but no, there's a hope for a moment. CJ gets one. And what can George do? Legacy's pistols have devastated nouns time and time again. A glaring hole. And what started it as such a strong series for them with Vertigo, the punish pick against Legacy. Looking controlled by nouns. Here they're playing Legacy's game and Legacy are having no issues. So impressed by just the ah, calling of Neckers. It's just the awareness of this team as well. And they're getting loud, they can sense it. There's blood in the water on Inferno. And now have to force in. You can't play from overtime in this position. That flashbang from Cole does absolutely everything. Oh, the drive by. That's just salt in the wound. Five sevens enter the server. Despair begins to creep across the players of Nouns, but Junior is trying to be that outlet. Good start, but Nouns need more. Nouns under pressure. Trying to escape and he has managed to get away. Wild Spray brings Carson low. But Nouns have found an opening kill and a bit of control. Blow the smoke, but not finding a single bit of purchase. So the scout wants to reset again, and this is the right place for it. Over towards Shaw. In fact, everyone from Nouns is starting to make their way over towards A. It's exactly what Legacy did to them. It's how Legacy were able to get things over the line with pistols off their own. A stack to keep Nouns in this series, in the major. Legacy finds series point. Junior peeks on forward, takes the aggressive angle, finds his second in the round. Feeling the pressure, wanted more, and he's dealt with. A swing though, comes through from short. Marky gets one. Damal spraying on through. Carson finds the critical kill, and it's Damal. Looking for more, but Carson with the double keeps Nouns alive. Yeah, Junior promoting himself to senior in this squad because he's really leading and trying to set a precedent for this team not to be scared to go for these fights. And he's taken not one, but two critical engagements to keep them alive. And look at how emboldened it made this CT side as well. This second kill on long gets the immediate activation of these players to go and creep in from short. There's so much commotion. Lato's not ready for Carson and he hits the headshot anyway. That kill is everything. He's blind. As the flash pops, he has two HP. If he goes down there, you can almost count the round done. It's a 1v1 with a retake required. That's pace from Neckers. Wanting to try and put his boot down on their throat, but it's just a bullet, just a gush, not a kill. Now they extend mouth, does find his. Marky though gets up on high, dealt with eventually. Junior continues keeping this noun squad fighting fit. Another multi-kill round. Semphis watching on in the back, just hoping and praying that his team can do it. One round at a time here. But again, the Tech Nines do damage. But that will be the breaking point of Legacy. No bomb plants in the last few rounds. It would have to be Tech Nines or just Glocks. Look at the investment. Finally, it can be upgraded here for Nouns. They can have a, a temporary sigh of relief. Just don't make this costly. Make this clean. In reality, this is one of those scoreboards you look at, you think it's only one guy. You take a pause, you think there's one player that is playing well. We can do this. That has to be the determining factor here. That has to be the mentality for Nouns. They have to pick their sunglasses up from the desk, reacquaint it with their faces, and wipe the sweat off their brow. This game is not done. This game is not over. The dream is not yet dead because they've given themselves a chance. Legacy are taking this moment to like, chat amongst themselves. This is old school. This is taking a tactical pause without taking a tactical pause. 
and just dancing back and forth in the underpass. Discussing what the next gun round, round is going to entail. Junior would love just to keep on fragging, keep finding these kills. He starts to see his name on the scoreboard, getting up high there towards the top. He'll start feeling emboldened. Start feeling like he can be the man that takes nouns the distance. Oh, the, those were also confidence kills for Carson. They're feeling that a little bit too brave against Cold Zero. Finally be put to rest by Junior. He is everywhere. Give that man a nop. They've got enough money to drop it over as well. None available for Cold Zero. Up in a difficult mistress to tame as well on that T side. Instead, it will just be Galil's. At least for a couple. In fact, at least for free. They're selling, they're juggling. They want to prioritize the utility. It's the closest thing we're going to get to a gun round so far on this second half. Now there's pressure still on them to defend. Three start early B, just to throw some utility. George is going to be staying active. Carson comes back over after collecting a second set. Legacy approaching this one. Very defaulty, taking that banana control early. A couple of plays lurking over towards apartments, getting a feel for what nouns are bringing to the table. A boost over. George is definitely fully aware of it. I say he cheat. Pressure on A. You force them all the way back. You know this A hit is now about to come in. Instead for Legacy, they want to retake areas of banana first. They want to ensure that when they go for these plays, they're at least keeping nouns divided. In which legacy potentially can conquer. Drop over towards CT. Goes that smoke. 45 seconds. George forced. Feels threatened enough to drop his. Another piece of utility enters the fray. Another piece of utility that can't retake or defend this incoming hit. CJ starts to move over. This is a hit on towards A. Junior with that orb. Needs to come up good. First kill is his. Falls back onto the line. He is looking for more. They have not been able to break through. Marky's got apartments locked on down. Brought down low though. And so Junior has to continue. Eventually put down and it's Lato. Of course it's Lato. Who breaks back in. Bomb to be planted. And a retake required. Difficult. But still achievable. Incendiary kits available. Both of these players immediately rotated in quite quickly. Powerful setup though with this crossfire. Now let's have to breach it. Ladder is so incredibly low. Incendiary is going to at least deny info in one position, but Ladder, he just can't be tamed. Ducks on him down, allows Cold Zero to swing in Legacy. They find Series Point. Really smart there from Cold Zero. He doesn't. Reveal his position. He waits. He lets Lato play, even though he's low HP. Still manages to find one kill. And it means that Cold Zero can reposition on that bomb site. And Nouns have got no idea, despite the hard work shown by Junior. It's still not enough. Lato feels inevitable. Legacy looking to continue their journey here at the America's RMR. And for Nouns, their heartbeat starts to fade. It starts to slow down that little bit more. Seven perfect rounds in a row here on their defense. Feels like Junior's done it all there with that 3K. But that ladder, Marky fight is everything. I don't know what ladder saw, whether it was just a, a spray through there or when Marky started firing first, something triggered him to find that kill. Junior gets the opener though. Smokes, calls the reinforcements. He knows how pivotal he is in this map. Going to be going over towards A, keeping active. And Legacy, they're doing the same. They're charging. They're not slowing down, but the Flames will keep them at bay for now. Oh, Marky just extends. Lato dealt with. That's the, the big target that you want to remove. Prime bounty achieved on towards Legacy's heads. Five on three, Junior. Right place, right time. Barton next to drop. And Nouns, it looks like they will stay alive for, at the bare minimum, one more. But it could be more than that. Economy not in the best place. Cold Zero not in the best place as well. Shadow spotted. Marky can't capitalize upon it. Legacy are going to save. They're going to hold on to their weapons. 
Maki doesn't want to overextend either. They have such a long battle ahead of them that they can't afford to hunt. So Nouns get a moment of respite. Another round, they can continue fighting. It's always been that conversation piece around Junior. When he got that big move to Furia, when he showed up in those big games, when he was on that server, how was he going to perform? It was a tale of inconsistency. As soon as the pressure was applied, it felt like he was never really that guy to step up when it was needed. But he is the driving force on this noun squad. Sat in the middle of the desk, providing fist bumps and opportunities left, right and center. Each round becomes a moment, becomes a memory for the nouns to try and forge and carve out their own legacy here on the pathway of the CS2 America's RMR. But for legacy, they're not worried just yet. They know that they've got six more chances to close. They only need one more round. And they're going to try and do the economic damage here. Junior oh. feels like he's hitting absolutely everything. Cold Zero wants to level him, but he's just pushed back by the utility. Continuing to be hampered. Junior definitely having the impact. It can't just be him, though. Long term, it can't just be him. It needs to be George. It needs to be Marky. It needs to even be Carson. Everyone moving to the same rhythm. Smoke drops. Godzilla not allowed an opportunity to peek forward. Legacy, the only space they've got is in towards Banana. A boost up for the AWP. They're just trying everything to get a kill. And Coldzera can't hit the shot. There is Carson, but an immediate trade out of Bartan. That's a rifle that can be passed on over. Pistols are brought into this fight. Smoke is going to slow them. All right, what's just the two save rifles and then a couple of upgraded pistols? You know they've been rotating as well with your nouns. Every single time there's Presence Banana, it's never been the commitment. Nearly a collateral instead. Junior posts on his favorite angle as Marky finishes the job onto Bartan. Lato has been phenomenal, but it's Junior that feels incredible. Nouns up to seven, and Legacy starts to sweat. He upgrades his AWP just like he's upgraded his presence in the server. It feels like Junior has gone Super Saiyan. It's enough to cause Legacy to take the timeout. It's an uncomfortable position they've found themselves in now too because they saved those two weapons from two rounds earlier, which means that Cold and Nekiz are out of sync with the rest of the team on the buy. Which means you give another round over. It means you give more momentum to Nouns who are growing in confidence. It feels like they intended to buy into this because they only half bought around yeah. those two save weapons, right? So Absolutely. No, it, it is going to be another half buy. So two half buys in a row and announced this is the best case you could hope for. And it was these little mistakes that were giving legacy opportunities against nouns. And now the shoe's on the other foot, right in the highest of pressure, right in the moments that matter most. Tech nines, a solitary galil on Lato, who's been your MVP player, but not equipped with an MVP weapon. But it could be fast up B. They could be limit testing the defense. Yeah, just putting the pace on. Lado boosted the smoke, giving space, and he finds the opener. Flames and bullets prevail. HE being set up in response, but it's not going to hit the mark. They're already falling back off the back of it. But look at Marky. Marky's already pushing towards second mid. Junior's trying to hold this line as well. Marky's in such a good spot, but he is on his own. Junior can't support. Marky goes around the corner, spots out one, and swings wide into the mall. Why? Doesn't need it. Junior doesn't either. He runs back. He's the only one on A. There is a push coming down Banana. They're resetting. Look at this. Look at Lato. He's in the back lines. He's expecting it. CJ with the backstab, but Lato's with his. George is holding, but it's Lato. CJ finds one pushing through, but he's not going to be expecting the other. Looking for Lato, gets the kill. And it's all on to Junior. They know where he was. They saw him in the apartments. And Cold Zero knows he runs over to sell the fake to throw the smoke through. Junior has to respond to this call to arms. 
close the smoke and it doesn't actually reveal anything. The bomb's gonna go down. Junior's gonna have to retake A. He's gonna be here pretty quickly. But a half by. Legacy brought barely anything into this round and they might just leave with the major. Still a dream alive for them. Junior has to go all the way around. He has done everything for Nouns in this resilient comeback on the CT side, but it might just fall short here. So many positions he has to clear. Time slowly running down. Cold Zero next to the box that gives his namesake. Shot fires out, doesn't find the kill, gets it with the dual Barrettas, the spin, and maybe there's a chance, but no, Barton's Deagle confirms it. Legacy stay alive, and Nouns sadly are eliminated. Yeah, what a, again, a comeback on Inferno for Nouns. It just doesn't quite pay off, not once, but twice. Legacy continue their journey, and unfortunately, we say goodbye to the Nouns. Oh my God.